Hi friend and welcome to my studio. I'm Olga Kirsch and today I'm going to show you so-called mindful painting, a relaxing painting, painting without any sketches, without overthinking about compositions. You just take a piece of paper, some watercolors and just start and just enjoy the process. Let's start with mindful, relaxing painting. As you see, I do not have any sketch now. It will be 100% improvisation. And I just take water, clean water on my brush and I make few puddles, few strokes just with brush where I think flowers could be nice. Very randomly very relaxing don't think about composition about uh, plans for this painting it's just to relax so i have some puddles here and i start with queen acridon rose for example because pink flowers are always always nice and i add some hues I add some color in our puddles and just enjoy how the color flows and mix and I add some of Pirol or some any orange color to make it brighter and try to make some shapes to form some flowers just with very bold strokes like this and something here if i add bold watercolor just from the palette it will make it very vivid and bright and bring beautiful contrast so we could do this big strokes small strokes just distribute the hues on our flowers. Now we could start to add some greenery. I'm taking sub green. Sub green also a very liquid. And I paint some leaves around. With very, very bold strokes and with very thick brush and now i go just right into the palette to make to take a bolder color and i try to make petals a little bit more vivid and i add greenery all around just like this let everything flow we just enjoy the process and now it's turn for blue blue color i want to add some blue spots all around just like this now i dry my brush a little and uh, take quinacridone rose just in a little bit bolder and add some color again and again we could play around as long as the paper is wet and once you see it starts to dry just stop but right now everything looks beautiful fine could add more vivid colors sometimes I go with the tip of the brush sometimes I go with the belly of the brush I add some tiny strokes because it makes nice contrast with our bold strokes 
and now I want to add some darker green. I will take pyrrole, uh, pyrrolean green. <clears throat> and just a few leaves. You see? It's now with the contracts is nice. Our goal here is just to relax, just enjoy how color flows. And now I dry my brush. I have completely clean and dry brush. And now I want to organize this just a little bit. I remove unnecessary puddles because once it dry, it will stay in these uh, big stains, which might be not really necessary. So here and there, I go with very dry brush and remove water. And you see, it's still, it's still distributing, it still flows. And for example, I here I want to connect this green leaf with the flower, so I add just a little bit of quinacridon rose and colors still mixing colors still flowing i go with with the dry brush i go right into the palette to add some bold strokes again and again We could see what else could we do. The again, uh, for example, we could remove this puddle just a little bit, and now I make my brush relatively wet, and I go, for example, to Pyrrhol color or uh, any orange color, and add some nice sparkles some nice texture right here and final touch i would like to make with dark green almost dry brush but it will make nice contrast for us i just add some leaves and texture <laughs> I still try to mix so if I see for example here is puddle I know that uh, colors will distribute nicely here I do not hesitate to add some leaves so Last final touch, Queen Acridon Rose. Bottom of the flower. Now I see that paper starts to dry out. It's a signal to stop. So here it is, our very quick very relaxed bouquet without any plans. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped you to relax and just enjoy the process. I'm very curious uh, to hear how are you doing in the comments. What would you like to paint next? How do you like mindful painting? You are very welcome to leave your feedback and follow me on Instagram olga.kölsch and subscribe my channel. See you. Bye-bye.